Sunshine, bright blue sea, hilltop kiss in the sky, river sing song, moonshine. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Land of My Bird podcast. And today I have a wonderful guest. Her name is Mrs. Kiddis Cowan. And, you know, I really hope at the end of this interview, you guys walk away with a lot of value and it encourage you to pursue whatever goals you had. You know, whether to start a new business, whether to start a new class, you know, whatever it is you've been longing to pursue, I hope this motivates you to go out and start it because there's never a right time to follow it dreams and to pursue pursue with passion so i really hope you know you 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 walk away from this episode with a lot of value and because that is what i'm doing this for i'm doing this to help my fellow jamaicans and we we are trying to do it as a community and together so um i really hope you know it it it, it does have that effect on you um and also try to, you know, leave comments and stuff, interact with the program so that can give me a measurement to see, you know, how impactful it is and any suggestions and how I can better, you know, produce this information to you or whatever information you, you're seeking, you know, we can work on that as well. But let's get into the episode, guys. And thank you again for tuning in to the Land of My Birth podcast. I'm Junior Garrison. Big up on yourself. And today I have for you... Her name is Kiddis Cohen, Mrs. Kiddis Cohen. Let me get that right. And, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> you know, she is a graduate from the International University of the Caribbean. She also holds a bachelor in, in a bachelor of science degree in business and administration. Um, and she also specializes in um, the project management. And she gets that with with. She has that in honors. Let me get that straight. <laughs> um, in, ad- in addition, she um, has a certificate in project management. Um, she's also certified in digital marketing. You know, um, one of the things I admire about her as well, she's also the creator of Jesse Home Decor. The story behind that is, is amazing as well. You know, she also is the co-founder of Good Deeds Foundation Jamaica. So you see her art is in the right place. And that's a non-profit charity organization geared towards youth empowerment and youth development. Um, She's also uh, a member of the United States Department State of Young Leaders of the Americas Initiative Program. She's also... Uh, recipient of the Prime Minister Youth Awards for Excellence in Service. Oh, man. So, <laughs> it, it's phenomenal. Phenomenal, I can tell you. Um, she's also a vision achiever. That's, that's the most recent, you know, um, accolades, you know, um, award to our belt. And um, welcome, kiddies. May I appreciate you taking the time to, you know, grace this podcast, you know, and to, you know, shed some light and to talk about the experience. And I I see that you are very involved in youth empowerment and youth development. And that is what I really want this program to be about. Awesome, and, awesome. You know, I want to find all the people like you that, that wants to see better for the youth and want to see better for our community and our country. So... I want you to start off by just, you know, telling me about, telling us about yourself and you can feel free to start wherever you want to start. We're just going to listen to you right now. Go ahead. All right. First of all, thank you very much for having me on your podcast. I actually feel honored to be here. 
Mm-hmm. And it's really good what you're doing. And I encourage you to keep on doing it. And, you know, just do the spark that get the fire going. Yes, ma'am. I do not like to answer the question, tell me about yourself, but I'll try. So as you heard a while ago, um, I have a number of accomplishments or things that I've been doing throughout my life. But it all boils down to the fact that I believe that all of us have the ability to live to our fullest potential. And so because I believe that I am always on the go, I'm always trying to accomplish something else. It's like once I do one thing, it's like what's next? Mm -hmm. And so that has led me to, to do a number of things in my life. Um, you heard that I'm a young leader of the American Initiative Fellow. And what that means was, or for short, a YLAI Fellow. What that means is for six weeks, I traveled to the, to the United States and I learned about how business operates in the United States. And that was around 2017. And that program was actually launched by President Barack Obama when he was in Jamaica. So I was wow. selected to be a part of that program. Out of 4,000 applicants, they mm-hmm. selected eight persons from Jamaica to do that fellowship. And that experience for me was life-changing. And I believe that is where my life kind of started, so to speak, because mm-hmm. it was only up from there. I learned so much in that period of time with the cultural exchange and also with learning about business in the U.S. When I came back to Jamaica, I was almost sure I was ready to start a business right there and then in 2017, in about November, we returned. However, it didn't happen like that. Fast forward now to September 2018, I was home on bed rest from a difficult pregnancy, having some severe back pains and, you know, I had to make something to to ease the back pain. And I decided I was going to make a pillow. I made some regular throw pillows that day and I posted it on my social media page. And then people started to order, oh, these are so lovely. Can I buy one? And I'm like, I'm not selling anything. And they were still ordering anyway. And so the rest, I always say, it's history. We started off making cushions, and we now have a full-fledged personalized gift from the current branding business. Apart mm-hmm. from that, being a business owner, I also operate a foundation called the Business Foundation, as you heard. And mm-hmm. with that foundation, we target young people. So we have mentorship programs, we have back to school events, we have treats, anywhere we can get young people together to try to say, listen, you need to live your full potential. Career Expo, you name it, we do it. And so a part of me wanted to, because I went on the fellowship with the, with the foundation, and when I came back, I was like, how do I find a business that will fund me to be able to give back? And so... That is what business gives and decor has been for me. Yes, we make money, we make profits, but it doesn't go back to me all the time. I try my best at least once a month to give to a cause. Mm -hmm. It might might not be some huge cause all the time, but, you know, I do try my best to make sure that I'm giving back. And so I find that the more you give, the more you receive. So, like, recently, I, as you would have said, that I know a special about vision retriever. And to mm-hmm. me, that's one of the biggest things that has happened to me since being in business. What that program did for me was to take me through a 17 week, very, very intensive business coaching program with the world renowned action coach. And mm-hmm. I was in a program along with 24 other entrepreneurs. And I ha- had to learn the real skills of business, the real techniques in business, and how you. Look at your numbers, look at your marketing, look at your sales and all of that. And during that period of that 17 weeks, I was able to, along with my husband, of course, who is my co-owner in the business, we were able to grow and scale our business by 41% revenue. Mm -hmm. And so what that means for us is that because of where we're at in business now and the learning that I would have gained, I implemented right away as I was learning. And because I implemented, I was able to see those results. And Mm -hmm. I came out as one of of the top three persons because of that. And we got about a million dollars in prizes Mm -hmm. um, from that competition. And I know now that I I believe I'm at the place where I'm ready. I'm a Jamaica host fellow with with my contract winding down um, in December. And I'll be the time and it's perfect for me now to just go out and jump full-fledged 
into full-time entrepreneurship. So soon I'll be kidding spawns, the full-time entrepreneur. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's wonderful. <laughs> but you, you know what I admire about you and your husband mostly is what what makes it inspirational for me and what I want the audience to kind of grasp and understand is that you and your husband are is from a humble background. And it's not it's not from a background where everything was privileged or where you anything was handed down. This this is stuff you guys worked for. This is stuff you guys, you know, dedicate your time and your energy and you achieved it. And I just, I, what I want to do with this program as well, I want for every person, whether whatever their background is, to, to, to feel that, you know, there's, there's opportunities like this out there for them and you and your husband and many other people are perfect examples to show that there's not a limitation to, to, to what they want, you know. And what I'm hoping to, to do as well is to, you know, find out how we can make um, these opportunities and these information and especially, you know, someone like yourself that's been there before to, 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 to let other people know how, you know, to, to, to go through those, you know, different parts doors. of their lives. The, doors, the, the, like, you the, know? The, the thing is, and this is why I do things like this by talking to you, any opportunity, opportunity I learn about, I mm-hmm. share it right away. Mm-hmm. I encourage persons. I tell them, listen, this is what you're getting into. This is what you need to do. This is how you apply all of that. So mm-hmm. I'm always that person who is, as I say, I don't think that everything is for me and me alone must get it. I always mm-hmm. pass on the information. So for example, mm-hmm. even the YLAI fellowship, every year since 2017, I know at least one person who has been selected because I'm making my point of to encourage persons to apply. And when they mm-hmm. apply, I coach them into how, what they need to do to get it. So the mm-hmm. one that recently ended some earlier this year, I think it was in June, they came back from the U.S. I knew two persons who I can say they are my mentees who I, mm-hmm. got, who I was interested in on that program. With Vision Achiever, as I was learning, I was passing it on to my staff, for example. Mm-hmm. And I was telling my friends who have business, you know, what I've been doing and how they can do to be in mm-hmm. their businesses. And some of them are already doing the things that I've been doing. I gave the books that I got in the pro- I got six books to read. And mm-hmm. I gave them to a friend. I said to her, I said to her, read these books and watch how it changes your life and change your business. So I'm like that. It's natural for me to always give mm-hmm. back, to always encourage, to always, you know, carry, put the ladder back down and bring somebody up with you. There, there, is you enough, there is enough of everything at the top. There's no shortage of anything. It's the abundance is there and we can all have it. Okay, exactly. And that, that is what I want. That, 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 that way you just share was inspirational and the f- those kind of information and the fact that it, there's access to it and there's abundance to it. That's the kind of information I want to be popular mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. a lot of people might growing up, you know, being from a certain background, a lot of people might feel like, Ooh, me can't get that. Or maybe the reason somebody have it is because them know this or them know that they've been linked with that person there and stuff like that. So, one of the one of the obstacles I I know about is the lack of knowledge, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that is what more we, we don't like for change. And I know we are, I was talking to you the other day, and I, you know you you wanted to do uh, your own program, you know, to get this information out there, and and I, and I was encouraging it. And the reason why I was encouraging it is because. We need people like you, and we need people like you that is willing to share what they know and to set apart for other upcoming young women as well. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you know what I wanted to tell me about that? That that I saw you made some shirts about, um, like it was a, was about um, some women empowerment kind of thing. What's that? Tell us about that. Oh, so I'm also one of the lead facilitator for the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs is a program that is funded by the U.S. Department of State. Mm -hmm. And it is currently found in over 80 countries worldwide. And that Mm -hmm. program takes women through an entrepreneurship training 
And at the end of it, they get a certificate of participation once they complete the mm-hmm. course online. It's an open source program, so anybody can go on and do it, but there's a specific one for the AWE ladies. And at the end of the program, here in Jamaica locally, we have a competition where ladies can pitch about their businesses and they get a thousand US or seed funding into their business. So for the past two years, I have mm-hmm. been teaching that program to women here locally. Usually here in Jamaica, we select 30 ladies per cohort. So we now have third ladies who are going through that program right now. And again, it is me just imparting what the knowledge I have gained in my time as an mm-hmm. entrepreneur to them and just encouraging them and guiding them on to, as to how they can start, scale, or even grow their own businesses. See, see, that's that's it. Because I, I do pay attention to you guys. You know. I, really I realize. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes... We as 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 people, we don't we don't we don't voice oh oh inspired we are you know, but we 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 see it from afar and we we we, we get our value from it. So for me, you know, go sometimes I scroll and I see the good stuff you guys doing and how you know your wonderful family and the stuff you guys are achieving and how you guys you know make it a priority to not only. Do these wonderful things you find personal time for you live out your own dreams and go to places you guys want to go to as well. And yep. you know, we'll find that inspirational as myself for me, it's just knowing your backgrounds and to see from 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 nothing to something. It's like it it's very inspirational. And that is what I really want to everyone to feel and believe and to see how like- you guys do it. I like how you say that nothing to something part mm-hmm. or the humble beginnings part because people mm-hmm. might look at us now in a commercial see space. See the glory. And so and see they, the glory. And they don't know. I reminded somebody today. I said to her, girl, did you remember that just started in a one-bedroom studio? Mm-hmm. We were cutting the fabric on our bed at one mm-hmm. point. And mm-hmm. we are now in a commercial space where we're paying monthly rent and you know, mm-hmm. life and all of that. You have to start somewhere to get to where you want to go. Just started mm-hmm. with eight thousand Jamaican dollars in two thousand and nineteen. Mm-hmm. I didn't even have a sewing machine at go. the time when I started. I had to borrow a sewing machine, and after I made enough money, I said to her, "Hear what? We're gonna make a business of this thing, so I'm gonna be keeping this machine." And she, I said to her, "How much you want to sell me for?" And she told me, "I said, okay, I can't pay you now." But guarantee I'm going to pay by the end of the month. And by the end of that mm-hmm. first month, I could have paid for that same machine. See. So you don't have to have no big hole for money. You just have to have an idea and have a mm-hmm. passion for what it is that you're doing. Because I had my son for years. If you had told mm-hmm. me a couple of months before that, I'd be making people that be like, huh? YouTube. Every single thing you want to know is on YouTube. Mm-hmm. There are always resources there for you. Don't think in the 21st century that you, you have any limitations at all. If you don't know it, you must know somebody who knows somebody who knows it. And we have bought machines that we have no clue how to use. YouTube, again, to just how to use those machines. So people don't make excuses like, oh, I don't know, I don't mm-hmm. know. There's YouTube and there's Google. Get on it and read mm-hmm. and, and figure stuff out. And, and at the same time, you know, so some people, they learn because even though the information is out there in abundance, some people, I feel like it's, they, they they are more inspired when they see someone, you know, go about it and and do it and can come and tell them about it specifically, rather than to have the ability to go out and search for what they need specifically. And so even to have, mm-hmm. and even so, I don't mind doing that. You know, I had an mm-hmm. experience in 2020, I think it was. Mm-hmm. I was it last year. Last year, mm-hmm. I had an idea start a clothing line. And I knew somebody who was selling the stuff that I wanted to use as the base product. So I would buy the, the plain Java set and I would print my logo on it and it would be my clothing line. And I said mm-hmm. to her, you know, can you tell me where you source this, please? And she was like, you're crazy. But do you own research yourself? People have come to me time and time yeah. again and asked me, how you try to up to about a week ago or two mm-hmm. weeks ago, somebody asked me, which machine you use, where you bought it? How would you pay for it? How you use it? And I gave her all that information. Mm-hmm. Because guess what? If you, I don't give you 
somebody else from a real people say, if I'm worried about you competing with me, then there's something wrong. And I'm never worried about that. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think you, you have to understand that a lot of people don't understand that there's, there can never be a, a Jesse home decor like how Kiddis and Jerome has it. What you guys do is, 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 is an individual specific thing for you guys, how you see your creativity, how you guys do your marketing. Yeah, exactly. In Jamaica, people believe like, if I tell you what I go on, he has to somehow stop me from whatever the case may be. And it's in every industry. And we, mm-hmm. I feel like that's something we now can ever, you know, get rid of. People are mm-hmm. always feel that we are the them want to feel. And, and it, it goes back to the whole idea of that there are scarce resources. Mm-hmm. Remember, you know, in Jamaica, there are 3 million people. I mm-hmm. cannot, Jesse's Gifts and Decor cannot sell to 3 million people. I mean, eventually probably we'll get big where we can sort, we can sort to a bigger yeah. audience, but as it is right now, we can't sort to three million people. So if we mm-hmm. have 10 people doing it, I still have my size of the cake to get. And at the same time, even, the, even if a cushion that you make, the cushion someone else make might not be the same like the how you guys would present it and the design what you guys would use. It's not totally the same different. design. Totally you different. Know, you know what I mean? And totally different. We 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 seem to think like if someone has another company, it are gonna stop the company there. When you have to more be confident of your individualization, like what mm-hmm. you have to offer, mm-hmm. and the same thing Jesse Owen the Cora offer, and the same thing quotes are offer our singer. It's like we all have one to offer to the society and to the universe. There's and, there's something in business called a unique selling point, mm-hmm. and I believe that because we have found our unique selling points, we mm-hmm. have been able to stay and command the market. I have friends who do the, who does the same business as me, are close, are similar to what I do. Mm-hmm. And as you say, her bottles don't look like my bottles. Yeah, it's We different. have our own creativity that we put to everything that we do. And again, it's just a mentality thing where we think that, sure, share the bottles too. All right, what we can do to make sure it's my bottle different from hers. It's as mm-hmm. simple as that, you know. What mm-hmm. is it that you that it is a signature mark, even like yeah, it's signature, it, your branding, it's branding. It. So yeah, your branding. Mm-hmm. So it's, like like it's branding. But I feel, I really, I really feel like it's it's the lack of knowledge, the 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 the, the, the fact that most of the people that are like that are people that don't have enough information. Mm-hmm, and they mm-hmm. feel like what they know, they need to hold on to it because if them share it with someone, it's going to make them irrelevant. And the moment they feel like that is because they don't know enough. Exactly. And that's the thing where we want for change. We want, mm-hmm. that's why I'm saying we need people like you because we, we need a super company like, you know, Jesse Home Decor and, a, and 10 other Jesse Home Decor kind of company to build our society because. Your exactly. success and four other companies' successes it will be good for the community and for the country and our world. Exactly. You know, because we'll be creating an industry. Exactly. And um, it's, just, it's just the obstacle we face. But I don't want to keep you far too long and I hope I can also get you back, you know, four more times, four, ten more times. <laughs> What you say? But after after the, every award, I say we just come back and we'll update the file. Not, not tell you, man. Not <laughs> tell you, man. Um, but based on the, the nature of the program, I want to ask you something. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were to make three major changes to Jamaica, what would it be? First of all, I, I, I love this. a very good question. And I keep going to think I'm going to itch before I answer. One mm-hmm. thing that we need to do in the, in Jamaica is to remove the bureaucratic red tape that stop persons or discourage persons from wanting to start businesses. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe that many more persons have the capacity or have what it takes, and we know that the small businesses contribute very, you know, highly to our GDP and to the, the economy of the mm-hmm. country. So, if we remove those barriers to enter into the into the space. Mm-hmm. Better, um, growth for our economy. The second thing is, if there was a way, and I said this around when I was independent, I made a post on my Facebook. 
if there was a way for us to bottle up the patriotism and the pride that we feel mm -hmm. about being Jamaican run about independence time, if mm -hmm. we had that pride all year round, all year every round. single day, mm -hmm. we'd mm -hmm. be truly paradise. So mm -hmm. if there's some way, teach the bits in school, have us recite a pledge, everything. You remember we used to go play to the thing mm -hmm. before God we could keep that yes. all through our life. Before mm -hmm. you go work on morning time or something, do that. To cool remind on. you of things like that. I think that if we understand the value of brand Jamaica, you know, I was mm -hmm. in France the other day and I was walking on a street. It's a, it's a popular street for tourists, Rivoli, Ruder mm -hmm. Rivoli. And I heard a silly bang song blasting through a car. Mm -hmm. Remember, I was French and talking in France, you know. Clearly, that was a Jamaican somewhere or somebody who knows Jamaican music that was exporting it from another country. Mm -hmm. And so if we had that understanding of how powerful we are as Jamaicans, then I believe mm -hmm. that we will have a different country. And the third point for everybody is crime. If we would feel safer in our country, if you could control crime, we would be a much, much, much better place. I don't mm -hmm. feel safe when I leave my house in the daytime. I don't even come back home. So mm -hmm. for, I mean, I don't know nobody not me, but you Your, know, the, the reality mm -hmm. of it, we understand it very, very well. Exactly. And mm -hmm. so, you know, if I could change those three things, then I would do it in a blink of an eye to make them make a truly paradise. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I, I really like those three. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you just you just come you know do it. <laughs> A hundred percent at everything, you know? I mean, <laughs> oh, wow. That just that just amazing and it's passion. It's, it's, it's passion. Yeah, That's all it's it is. Passion. We, 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 we are amazing people. We we're full of talent. Exactly. And one of the things is being in America is everywhere we go we see American flag and but I love to see that at Jamaica. Exactly. Like, yard, yeah, yeah, and and them gates, all of them gardens, mm -hmm, to help them mm -hmm. stuff, and them mm -hmm. poor poles, and all them stuff. Like, why are we not doing those things? Why are we not doing those things? patriotism. We need to get more into being patriots, you know? And I, I really agree with no fire points because... With, but the, the most one where me um, can relate to the most is you know, when you get something where you, you, you get something and you care for it so much, you take care, right? But just feel like we need to get to that point as a people where we, we yeah. value Jamaica. Yeah. And the moment we yeah. value the country and everything in it, then that Have would a problem then, charge. You know? But for the audience, um, seeing how you're doing so much great things for youth and you're willing to share all the information, like what's, what's, what's the best way to get in touch with kids? Mrs. Kiddis Cohen, if they want to, but okay. Us. So on Instagram, we are Jesse's underscore gif underscore decor. Facebook, mm -hmm. not so much, but we still post to Facebook for people mm -hmm. from that era. Jesse's gif and decor on Facebook, mm -hmm. and our contact number is eight seven six three eight one five eight two three. So what about the, you have a website, right? For your oh yes, website. we also have a website. <laughs> www.jesses.gifandedecor.com So when, when, when you're going to, to start like your, your, your whole mentorship thing where people can, young women and everyone can find you and get encouraged and be... I, you know, I Junior, don't draw me out. We need <laughs> you to start it now. We need no. you to start it. We need you. So, so my birthday is coming up. And mm -hmm. I have been struggling with what to do for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I keep hearing that I need to do is what you just said a while ago. Mm -hmm. Bring a group of women together who are like-minded, who are on the same path Beautiful. as you. Bring them together. Have them in a space. Talk to them. And cultivate mm -hmm. that environment where women can mm -hmm. feel okay supporting women. I know there's so much of it happening already. But I just feel like I need to do it. And I keep yeah, on talking myself. You, out. I keep on talking everyone. myself out of this. And the more I talk myself out of this, the more things like this. Like we yes. just say a while ago. Huh? Yes, we need you, kiddies. We need you. <laughs> we need your input. We value you. We value what you guys are doing. And we, we, we need more of you guys. 
So we we have to encourage it, we have to support it, and we have to ask it every time we talk. You know what I mean? Okay, well, because I'll answer we, the call. We, I'm not going to be there. Yes, man, <laughs> we, could, we change some life, man. We could change some life, you know. So, um, as again, we, we, we just said we have cut each other over long. Kiddies, <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you for coming on the program. I hope to see you the 10 more me. time. The 10 more time, you know. Um, Wow, it was, a, it was an amazing interview. Um, so, anyways, you were just in tune to the Land of My Bird podcast with my wonderful guest, Miss Kiddis Cohen. You know, stay tuned and I'll see you again next week. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, Kiddis. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my poor and it's so sad. Had to learn to be a man without a proper dad Mama always try her best with whatever she have She really never want to know we bad This messing up me head, this really hit me met The whole of man them teach we say the other side for death So we give them cap a lead, so much blood we shed But now me looking back we've been only killing ourselves This no name no, not this, no normal, no, no We did so good when we in a school And no one me a cause your funeral No, not this, no normal This can't normal, no, no So much gun we have a shoot A kill of promising get all use Yeah, what if when me scam?